What is going on guys, it is Will from Isometric Obsession and today's tutorial is based around color corrections and adding it to your final um, render. So normally in Cinema 4D you can add color corrections but it's a bit complicated and it might be a bit more effective to add it in Photoshop. That's what I'm going to go over today. So I've just got a simple render of a red car here and I'm going to go over the basics of color corrections. So there's different aspects you can add to a color correction. There's not just one thing. There can be one thing if you want to make it simple, but um, if you want to change it up a lot, you can add a lot of different aspects. So there's things like solid color, curves, color balance, hue and saturation. You could add all of them together to create a really effective um, color correction. So the first thing we're going to go over is solid color. So you want to go here, adjustment layers, and then go solid color. And then I normally make it a really light um, shade of the colour and let's choose a light, light pink. Go to up here and choose soft light and this will add like a really light, nice glow effect. If you lower the opacity on it, it will add a really nice glow effect and um, if I turn it off you can see the difference here and that just makes it look really um, nice, gives it a good glow type feel. The next one is curves, so you go again to the adjustment layers and curves. So you can change these as much as you want. Some don't look very good like what I'm doing now, if you do that, that doesn't look good. If you do that, that looks horrible as well. So you want to make a good balance between the two, um, something like, um, maybe like that. It adds a slight contrast difference and can change it quite dramatically from your final product. Next one is color balance. Now this one is um, a really useful tool so you can change the balance of colors within the picture. So you, again it could add the glow effect. Um, you can change the colors up dramatically if you use it right. So that looks quite nice and that just gives it changes all the colors. So you know that's pretty straightforward. Hue and saturation is another pretty straightforward one. Um, yeah, basically you can just change the colors, and you don't want to do it tr too dramatically because then it will change the colors of the shadow, which is what it's happening now. So you just want to change it maybe slightly like that, and you can change the saturation to be really, really prominent or not so prominent. Um, I wouldn't really mess with the lightness because that isn't really effective. Um, and the next one, you can do brightness, contrasts, or exposure. I quite like exposure because it um, changes a lot of the lighting and feels of the photo. Can change it up there. Now, again, very simple, but the th main thing about color corrections is these are just all the aspects. So, if you add all of these together to create one um, final color correction, it can look really, really nice. So, I'm gonna pause it right here and fast forward it. I'll just be making my own color correction and I'll explain it at the end. Okay, so basically what I've done here is create my own color correction in this folder and I've added a whole range of things that we've explained through this tutorial. And as you can probably see, I've added more than one of curves, you're definitely allowed to do that. So um, don't be afraid to do that because it can change your project a lot. See, so if I didn't add that curves, it would have had a lot more brightness and a bit more glare to it, which I didn't really like, so I took that away made it a bit more contrasted so um, yeah all these elements add up to this final it's kind of subliminal but it's really nice and can change your final um, product really dramatically so if I take that away you can see that um, what I've done to it is um, basically change the hue a bit make a little type of filter over it and then um, make it a bit more contrasted so the shadows stand out 
and yeah, it just looks really nice. Um, and color corrections are all based on personal preference, so if you don't like color corrections or you just want to leave it the same as the render, you're definitely allowed to do that. Um, there's no really rules on color corrections, just don't go crazy with like curves and as I said before, don't do this or this. So, yeah. So this is the tutorial for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, leave a like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And even write in the comments below what you would like to see as the next tutorial. And yeah, I'll see you next tutorial.